Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome back to Music with Mrs. Sotelo. Today, we are going to be going back to Song Maker, and this time, we're going to be adding harmony. So let me show you what we're going to be up to today. If you are watching this video, it means you're currently on this page. Now, once you are finished watching this video, you're going to click this link. A new tab will open just like this. Okay, so notice my new tab open. Now, this is the Song Maker in Chrome Music Lab. This is the exact thing that we worked on last week. It's Mary Had a Little Lamp. Okay, last week, you guys changed the instruments, you guys changed the tempo, and you added rhythm at the bottom of the page, however you wanted to, okay? You were not, however, supposed to change this. This line of blocks is the melody. So a melody is the tune of the song. Um, so if we're singing, Mary had a little lamb, little lamb, little lamb, that's the melody of the song. It's the tune that gets stuck in your head. So last week, we weren't supposed to change this melody, okay? All you were doing was changing the instruments, the tempo, and adding a rhythm. This week, you guys are going to do the same thing. You're gonna add some rhythm, change the instruments, change the tempo, and this time you're gonna add harmony. Can you say harmony? Good. Now, harmony is when two notes or two pitches work together and they sound good together, okay? So for instance, um, I have this melody right here. This is the tune. I am going to add notes above or below the melody to add some extra sound. But when I'm listening, I wanna make sure the notes sound good together. So um, let's say I wanna click this block and this block. So for this first row here, this first column here, I'm gonna have three notes playing at one time. Let's listen. Hmm. Listen again. Ooh, sounds pretty jazzy. Now, if you don't like the way that sounds, then you can change the blocks. Oh, that sounded a little bit better. So this week, you guys are gonna be adding blocks above and below the melody to make it sound cooler. You're adding a little bit more flavor to the melody. So I don't want you to change the Mary Had a Little Lamb. This is still going to be Mary Had a Little Lamb. You're just adding some more stuff to it. Okay, so you should still be able to hear that tune um, when you are playing your song. Okay, so on and so forth. Reminder, there is no wrong answer. So if you didn't like the way something sounded, then change it, okay? Um, you can add as much or as little of harmony as you want. But by the end of your song, I, you should be able to hear, Mary had a little lamb. You should have notes either above or below, or both. You should have a rhythm and do something with the instruments or the tempo. Remember, once you exit out of this, your work will not be saved. So if you want to save your work, you're gonna come down to the save button, click it, and right here is your link. If you want to share this with your teacher, with me, with a family member, then you need to copy the link and paste it somewhere, paste it, on a Google Doc, paste it um, somewhere in Canvas 
So that way you can click the link later and it will open up your composition, your piece of work, okay? So um, there are also some awesome settings that I didn't talk to you about last time. Um, last time, we only had a length of four bars, which means that there are a total of 16 beats to work with. If you want to make this longer, you can do that, okay? If you want to change it to a minor or some, a scale like that, you can do that. See how there's this bar now? Look how much more stuff I can add. Okay, so if you are not satisfied with just this, you can add more to the end, All right? So my friends, this is your chance to be creative. This is your chance to, to create something of your own. So use the melody and the tune that was given to you, add rhythm, add harmony, and see what you can come up with. This is the beginning of songwriting, all right? And SongMaker is an excellent tool to use to help with that. So as soon as you're done watching this, click the link below and have some fun. And remember, if you want to share it, save it. Save and copy that link, all right? I will see you guys next week. Bye.